want to ask you, the viewer, the public, a serious, serious question. Do y'all think that it's more important to keep Kanika's name alive even if it's used to stay alive with incorrect information about it? Or do y'all think it's more important to have the correct information published about it? What I'm getting at is for me, I've always wanted to raise awareness with what happened to her, but at the same time, keeping the facts facts. But I see so many new channels, or should I say channels, that was not putting out Kanika videos that started putting out them and put out a lot of wrong information. Some of them are polite, some of them are not, but when I respond to them. But I really wanna know from you guys, what's more important? Just to have her name out there, despite what's being said, or to have the facts out there, whether we like them or not. Let me give you an example. Last night I saw this video and I watched it. Basically, this young guy is doing what a lot of people do as far as holding his phone up to another screen. And he's recording an old video of the two ladies that were talking about the glitches. And they were putting out false information on top of that. This is his channel. Now, like I said, he was very polite with me. And I explained to him, I don't know if he got understood what I was trying to say to him. But we made the glitches ourselves. Started out not on purpose, but then several people realized, oh, I get a lot of views with it. And so they did it on purpose. It boiled down to not knowing how to use the media player that came downloaded with the footage. That's all it came boiled down to. But Derek and Greg, thank you for being polite, though. A lot of people aren't. And then this one came across my timeline late last night. It was just put out a week ago. It's gotten over 4,000 views by this person here. I don't think I commented because it would have been too much to comment. You can see just by the title, first and 10th floor. And he was going over the key card documents. And I think towards the end, he was catching his mistakes, but he didn't really reveal them. And it kind of ended the video. And of course, this one comes up with irrelevant information about the whole thing. Now, I went and I looked, like a lot of times I'll do. Let's see. His information, he started out in 2012. And he's done a handful of Kanika videos. 
which his earlier ones that I watched were basically clickbait like here it shows the picture of the other girl that was being carried off from her birthday party and yet in the video all it shows is a screenshot of somebody who claims to be Kanika's cousin even though in the video he says it's a guy from Chirac and the guy says yeah that's my people that doesn't mean it's her cousin so again incorrect information and like I said I watched a few of his videos just to see what you know was going on and the one his newest one that I was looking at He straight started, you know, convincing because he was like, I got it straight from the, you know, official source and blah, blah, blah. And then he kind of made a joke about it. The stuff being seventy nine ninety nine dollars or whatever. He said he was joking. But again, his information was incorrect at best. Then this morning, I woke up to this video. Somebody had sent the link. Now, don't get it twisted. It says 27 views. That is very incorrect. Let me show you. Now, here it says, again, 27 views, which is so incorrect. I don't know how or why it's even doing that. I don't know if the uploader is able to do that or not. But her video is reminding me a lot of the Oxygen Network. This is the name on it. The Oxygen Network channel's uh, video that, that they had wanted me to do with them and I had given it to 54 Keys to ask her to do it instead. Okay. But it starts off the first information on it is, is incorrect with Kanika is the second of five children that Teresa and Kenneth had together. And they're halfway through the first half of this video is all incorrect information with things like um, the girls getting to the party at 11 o'clock. And Kanika going missing at 1 o'clock when she texted her sister, which is all incorrect information. Then she, the second half, she does go into 50-50 information being correct with the toxicology report and things like that. Although still, like I said, 50-50 is not good enough for me, but hey, I'm not the public. She ends off, finishes off the video with saying Kanika was buried September 25th instead of September 30th. Some of these things we can debate, but some of these things are so simple. There's no confusion. How many siblings did she really have? How, what day was she buried on? If you can't get that information correct, why are you here? That's just how I feel. But let me show you what's really blowed my mind on this video because you see it was done May 27th. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know why it's doing this, but the other video link that I was given was about Kendrick Johnson, and I didn't even watch more than a minute of it. But let me show you. You can see his was done April 30th, and it has almost a half a million views, Okay. Oh, by the way, well, I'm going to click this other one and see what happens. But anyway, when you're watching this one, if you come over here, you will see the same video that I just showed. And it tells you 253K views. I'm going to click this one and see what happens. Let me turn y'all off for a second. All right. Well, I see somebody is cloning this person's channel. Because here you see 
The video was only a day old and it had a quarter million views. The difference is the other one had the comments turned off and this one doesn't. So now I will leave my comments. But I really would like for y'all to let me know your honest opinions. Is it more important just to have her name out there and alive, even if the information's not correct? Or to put out the correct information, even if it turns people off? All right. Thanks.